Explorers, let me tell you, you will never believe where the heck I am right now. I'm in an abandoned ghost ship. Supposedly, this place used to be an abandoned hospital. I'm gonna push in the set over there. What is up, guys? <laughs> Dude, I got a lot of people with me, so I'm gonna give them shout outs. Make sure I take care of them. Make sure you guys follow them. Take care of Seth, too, yo. I am out of breath. We had to literally climb through a jungle almost. I'll show you some of it. Look at that. All that vegetation. I'm sweating and I'm just ready to explore, guys. So let's go. You're. Dude, I can't even believe it. I suppose this was used for like medical, medical search. You know, be careful for the helicopter. Hey, Bethany. Hi. Put you up here. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe we got on this. I know. Sick. She uses the hand rule. Hand rules. Wait. All right, let's turn on the light. I'm curious what's in here. Dude, this is insane. There's nothing in here so far. <sighs> Look, it's Matt Canavan. I keep getting his name wrong all the time, but- You got it right. This time I got it right. Link in the description below. <sighs> Sorry for my face is like super overexposed. I'm sweating everywhere, there's blood on my hands. Dude. This is one of the most insane explorers that I've been on. I've only been on one pirate ship and that was literally in another country, Cambodia. So this is sick. I'm trying to get some drone shots today. Um, it's been raining, so I have to make sure I'm very careful because I'm not trying to lose a $700 drone. I, I think I bought a used, so that's why they said it's a little cheaper, but you don't have much on there. This is just a bunch of life vests and stuff. An old fire hydrant. Dark, dark room. I'm gonna put my light on in a minute. Hold on, folks. This is literally insane. Dude. What the heck? So yeah, this place was technically used as like an abandoned hospital. Uh, I call it the floating hospital. I think it's just, I, oh guys, I'm literally mind blown. Like, wow. I don't know why it closed and why it's even sitting here, but for some reason we found it. And man. I don't know who owns this right now and what yacht we're even in. Dude, I literally ripped my pants just to get on here. Hopefully I can find other cool stuff. Uh, get some B-roll, give you guys a little story on certain things. And yeah, uh, make sure you guys comment in the section below because I'm really curious how you guys are doing. I, I usually always am. And I like to comment back whenever I have time. Uh, I've been working a full-time job. I have Seth editing for me. Appreciate you, Seth. And sorry if you don't like Seth's editing style. Um, I know it's something different. Maybe I just need change in my life right now. So we're gonna switch up, have a little freshness, you know? This is definitely a medical building. Look at that. Examination room number one. Wow. That's crazy. Dude, this is nuts. These are all patients rooms. Yeah, definitely 100% was used for medical and stuff. Wow. Thank for everybody else. Apparently there's an upstairs. I can hear people running around upstairs. My friends, obviously. And there's a bunch of old paint. I'm gonna check out upstairs really quick. Let's see what the heck I can find up here. This is just crazy. Birds coming off the marina. Deck number three. Oop, I should probably get off the main side. Wow, this place is totally decayed and trashed. I love the yellow blue on the wall. That's actually very unique. These must have been other cabins. I don't think there are patients rooms. They could have been just regular people's rooms because I don't see anything with like biohazard maybe like this is the admin office see i can already see office zest 
that's the thing about exploring. Uh, we're basically detectives and we have to figure out what the heck has been going on. Maybe why it closed and other stuff like that. We're gonna try our best to find as many clues as possible. You guys already know. Another creepy thing I wanna let you guys know that this boat was supposedly haunted. At one point, you know, our friends actually came here and it must've been so bad because they ran out. It's insane. So people actually died on this boat, I bet. I bet on my life. I have no idea what the history is on this place, but I bet. Because I can already feel the heavy presence inside this place and it feels really dark. It's really scary though. I got one more floor. Dude. We missed a good time. Why? There were four pigeons in this tiny little room. Mm -hmm. They all ran out. They no, they wouldn't. Out. They wouldn't go out. So Matt was. Oh my god. Just trying to get them out. His go ahead, Dude. Yo, say hi to the camera, Kaden. It's been a while. Uh, dude, Kaden's <laughs> been going to school. You yeah. yeah. Been busy. Can't yeah. urbex. So I miss him. Much. Yeah. Oh, it's K I never see this now. guy. I know. Uh, was it K.PXLZ. K Plux. Basically. Yeah, check out my boy. He got some great content. As you guys saw, there's actually security over there. It's gotta be security. He's wearing a red shirt and everything. Red don't mean good. Red is actually a bad thing. Red is no good. <laughs> so yeah, my boy Seth's hanging out here. We're trying to be as stealth as possible. Uh, the worst scenario, we just run into the woods because they'll never catch us alive. What does it say? From 99, it's a work order. Yo, it has Matt's name on it. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Matt's from the satanic video who apparently drives around <laughs> and finds local bandos. <laughs> so, now we have a document of him. What does it say? There's a bunch downstairs. 99? Yeah. So that makes you blur out the name. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. It literally d tests back from 99. What? Please. So cool. Our room. <laughs> More X. Sorry, guys. I can't read. This looks X like it two, says two, something else. Jackbox. That says 2x. These are like in secret codes. What the hell is that? Mean? <laughs> That's insane. Good find. This is a random dude kayaking, so we gotta be quick. Uh, you guys already know. People get possessed in the basement, and Kane is the type of person that gets possessed really easily. Uh, <laughs> that man right there. So we're gonna go do that. Get possessed and end up in the basement. So you guys already know. Let me go first. I know you want to get that B-roll. Get B-roll of you. The back of you. Look at that. Wow. Dude, you do <laughs> Wonder what they did down here. Oh, there's no worker with us. Oh. Yeah. There's a bunch over here too. Please install the what? Yo, man, we get trapped in here right now. It's super squishy. Dude, this is sick. On the inside. Oh my god. Dude, if we get stuck in here, I will cry for an hour. Then I'll stop crying. Because you'll die. <laughs> yeah, because I'll be dead at that point. All right, folks, take a look at this. It's a good find, by the way. I would have only thought this place was open since 1999. All right, Seth boy. If there's a name there, block it out. But guys, take a look at that. 03 is the last time this thing was inspected. So, that means the ship was either running until 03 or they had to keep fire detectors like maintained no matter what. But we don't know. Oh, look. The punch out slip. Yeah. There you go. Time punch guys. Time cruncher. Yeah. Ooh, someone's playing the hours. Can I blur? <laughs> Dude, it's on like military time too. Right? 1500? Yeah, 15k. He's working eight hours a day. Oh my gosh, you can climb up this. Honor <laughs> <laughs> after today's potential. Look behind the label. Hayden, you're a genius. It literally says Spire's not You can't see it, obviously. It's too dark. Maybe with the back light. Probably. Yeah, the so lights do your best. <laughs> there, there, there. Yeah. Alright, that says 03, guys. Just believe me. <laughs> and it was all flooded. Like, you have the to boiler walk on metal grates. And Where? Come right this way. Step right up. Oh, right this hey, man. That room. I never went there. Down here. So there's a boiler room, you're saying? It is flooded? And someone's gonna comment that I'm wearing white. Probably. I just got back from Florida. Watch the floor, it's all flooded and shit. That's insane. We have to literally walk in metal grates so we don't fall in the water. Oh, it's a lot less scary than this There's more that way too. Alright. I wonder who the heck has been in here. Look at the engine. Detroit, it's a diesel engine. Kaden would love this. Where's Kaden? I don't know how to work on these things, but that's insane. 
<laughs> All right, I almost fell literally into that grate. Yeah, lift the grate so I have to step on the metal. It's the only way to survive. Matt? Yo, Matt. Yo, Matt just left me down here by myself. There's another area that way too. It's really quiet, really quick. Watch the floor. Oh, yeah, dude. There's a boiler in the room. There you guys go. Yeah. Bethany, watch the floor. Quiet. There is no floor. You okay by yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be down here long. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna go up this ladder. It literally just leads back, and I'm gonna close out this whole story. Alright folks, it's pretty much it. Uh, this abandoned ghost ship was freaking awesome. I can't believe I am flabbergasted that I even got on this thing. So I'm gonna close this out. Thank you very much for watching. For new people, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for the people that have already been with me. Really appreciate it. Leave a like, comment, anything you can do because I really appreciate it. If you guys ever need support, you just hit me up, DM me, whatever you guys need. So, thank you.